Guess whose birthday it is? Mom. Happy birthday. Thank you. 29 years old. 29. 20s are nearly over. Congrats to mom for giving birth on this day 29 years ago. To an absolute legend. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm still playing my cards. This is one of my followers, Sarah Hill. And she's so cute. She never forgets. Dear Vicky, hope your day is perfect from beginning to end. Dad, Trish. Thanks, Dad. Is this, is this from you? Is this from you? Don't let all the money fall out. Um, oh, I like this card. Happy birthday, you're one in a melon. <laughs> Could you like melons? I love melons. <laughs> Aww. You're so cute. Thank you, babe. So I got a Selfridges card through. A little something so you can treat yourself for your birthday. All I love Steph and Lauren Charlie. My girls. So what are you doing today then now? You're taking the whole day off, aren't you? Unfortunately not. I'm not even going to see you for half the day. I've got meetings and then I have a haircut. A very exciting haircut later. So relaxing on my birthday or not. Oh, it's from Brian and Carol. So old school. They've sent me a check every year for the past 29 years. And I'm pretty sure never you've it. never cashed one of them. Of course I have. <laughs> But it takes me like months to cash it in. I remember it was like nine months before you cashed the last one. It's so nice. I just, I don't know anyone else who uses checks. I mean, it's smart Amazing. because. Yeah, it is smart. I mean, no one can your mum sent a card and it got bloody opened. It was open. I know. Uh, Royal Mail. Thick, so I won't be surprised if someone's been like, oh, let's see what's inside this. She always loves a good card with lots to read. Aww. Your mum and how? Oh, it's beautiful, Vic. <laughs> Pommy Mags and Froey. <laughs> Wishing you a fabulous birthday. We love you to the moon and back. Oh, I love. Mm. Oh, I love them. I like. <laughs> I like big gins, and I cannot <laughs> laugh. That is brilliant. Oh, it's back. It's back. Morning, guys. It's my birthday. I'm looking extraordinarily tanned because tonight it's the art. That wasn't a knife, was it? <laughs> because tonight is the Emporio Armani party to celebrate the because it's you and strong with you fragrances so we're going to that tonight which i'm kind of seeing as my birthday party because i know lots of people going and charlotte who's running it is like one of my absolute besties so i'm actually super excited about it so i fully tanned last night my face is on fire this morning i don't know what i've put on it but it's like gone really hot and red which is why it seems to look even more tanned than normal and obviously my hands are bad because i'm just crap at this. I went yesterday to get my nails done, so I went to dry bar to get my nails done, tanned all over today, last night, and then today I'm also going to get my hair done and I have a few surprises in store. Oh, also, let me show you my beautiful bouquets. I got this absolutely beautiful hydrangeas. Is it? I'm not very good with flowers. Hydrangeas and roses. This is from Bulgari. Stunning. And then I got this huge bouquet of white roses from De Beers. Thank you so much, De Beers. A few things on today. Alex is a little bit upset because he's like, I, I wish I could have made your breakfast in bed, but I'm like, let's do that tomorrow instead. Today I'm going for a lovely breakfast actually with Charlotte from Armani. Again, she's such a good friend of mine. And we'd arrange to go for this little breakfast. So we're going for that. Right, so let's let's head off. Okay, just finished up breakfast at day rooms and now I'm waiting. Oh, here's my cab. Okay, next up, on my way to Gleam. I'm just at Gleam. We've been having some really great meetings and now the girls have just bought me my favourite thing. Choco Alpha Mousse from Pure is oh, so good. And, 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 and this salmon fishing in the lemon is Avo salad, really tasty bread. Is it rye bread? And also, it's like smoked salmon and Avo. Mm, it's my favourite. So we're gonna sit together, have a good catch up meeting now, after our other meeting, and um, chat about everything that's been going on, really. Lots of exciting things coming, guys. I cannot wait to show you all. I'm in such a good mood today. Birthday mood, birthday mood. Okay, meeting's over and lunch over. And now I'm about to get my hair done. Sorry, I got chatting. So, really exciting. This has been a very spontaneous choice. As you know, I come to Larry King's salon. It's just in like Kensington, Knightsbridge way. Amy Fish does my colour. She has done for the past like three years. The other day, I realised it's my birthday and it's the Armani party tonight. And I figured it would be really nice to turn up with fresh hair. 
So, I decided I'm going to cut it. You guys have gone on for ages about me cutting my hair shorter. So I decided to take the plunge, finally, and I'm gonna do it, guys. Larry's gonna cut it, Amy's gonna colour it, so I can go to the party later with shorter. <laughs> I'm really scared, I'm really nervous, but you guys reckon it's gonna look good, and I feel it's been like four years, no, it's been longer now, like five years of this hair length. So I need a change. Let's go short and see how it goes. And that's why I'm here. Okay, so I'm just having, oh wait, what, what have we done? I've got like half of my hair washed, half not. Other bits and sleeve with some bleach on just to take a little bit longer. And then we're gonna put on a pH bonder just to kind of help the hair have a little bit more protein. And then we're gonna wash it off and put on some toner and tone it through. So many of you always ask me what toner I use, so I'll ask Amy what exactly she uses. And then it's on to the gut. Look how blonde I am. I'm just, okay, so we've just got the toner on. Oh, I forgot to ask Amy what we use. Okay, I'll ask in a minute. But look at this. So, I am so tan with this now. I'm like, contrasting colours. I'm always colour and amazing. It. I think it looks great. Really, really cool. Oh my god! I'm glad I love you actually it. went through. It, I love it so much. Look at the back. It's going to be so much easier to look after so, as well. Oh, it's going to like half my drying time. Brilliant. No, I love it. I think it's really cool. I'm so See, happy. happy. Yeah. Oh, you did such a good job, Larry. is just so amazing. Good old like, Larry. He's great. Oh, I love him. So Sweet. I've got treats, treats, treats. So this box came today. Okay. Do you know who it's from? Uh, I think I left the card inside. Okay. <laughs> is it going to be a cake? Don't know. I have no idea what this is. Oh my god. It says in the front. <laughs> what the hell? Came in this. You're joking. There's no other card or anything who with it. it who oh wait, maybe unless this card came with it. It might that a card might have come with it. Dearest V, happy birthday. Cannot wait to celebrate with you tonight. All I love. Team Joshua Armani Beauty. This is absolutely amazing. So, in case anyone loves it, it's by Pear Drop. Delicious deliveries. Pear Drop London. This is insane. Oh my god. How beautiful is this? I can't actually believe it. I'm shaking a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> this is really cool though. Oh, so this. I'm keeping that. How yeah. amazing is that? How have they made that? 3D printing. That is incredible. Okay. okay and this then... is from Kyle. Oh my god. Did... <laughs> oh my god, are these Krispy Kremes? I don't know. Oh I don't know where he's got them delivered from. Oh my god, these look insane. Kyle! Oh, what a babe. These are amazing. <laughs> Thank you, Kyle. What's he like? And then that bag over there, the green bag. Green bag from Lagerie. Oh, macarons! Bloody oh, hell. Oh, lots of macarons. So how's your amazing. diet going this week then, Vic? Oh my god. <laughs> it's not this week. Dear Victoria, happy birthday from all of us at Lagerie. I just really hope our delicious macarons will make your day. All the best, Camille. Thank you, Camille. So then, there's all those. And then, this florist the shop that we're making currently. <laughs> no, yeah. This big bouquet here. Okay. Dear well. Victoria, wishing you a very happy birthday. Love, L'Oreal. Thank you, guys. Love you. Also, I got some other presents too, which I can show you. <laughs> Bulgari sent me a gift. Ooh. They sent me this scarf. Oh, so you wow. can tie it around your wrist or your neck, or you could tie it around like a ponytail. Or a bag. Or you could tie it around your bag. And then it comes with a little serpenty like brooch. Oh cool. So you can push it through and up you. Real cool. How lovely is that? A bulgari gift. And then the girl got me cookbook. Oh, cool. And Jones, a modern way to cook. And you got me two beautiful plates. How beautiful are these? Oh, wow, they're nice. From West Elm. Aren't they beautiful? Yeah, they're really nice. Absolutely stunning. So they got me those. And oh, yeah, and then 
Thomas Sabo. Oh, they sent you a present too? No, no, no. They sent me my jewellery tonight ah. as a gift. I look at this necklace. This is from their brand new Kingdom collection. Look how amazing that is. Isn't that stunning? That's incredible, isn't it? So that's going to go so perfectly with my outfit. Today's been so good! <laughs> so how long do we have to we have to get ready and go? And we've got like an hour. Oh, we've got time. Have you made dinner? Well, you didn't want dinner, did you? Yeah, we just no. some bits to eat. Yeah, you wanted celery and hummus. That's celery when I was going to make you something. You asked for celery and hummus. So yeah, yeah. I went and got celery and hummus for you. <laughs> okay, guys, we're ready. <laughs> we're all ready to go. Look how nice my suit is. My birthday suit. I'm wearing this little white bra. You've been dying to say that. I know, I have. Look how pretty all this jewellery is. Isn't it beautiful? I'll leave it linked down below. I love it so much. This is my full suit. Faces here. So just in the car for like another 15 minutes. No dinner. So we've just, we've just put this big ass cake in, <laughs> I've just had to move everything, move the alcohol, oh, no, let's yeah. move the alcohol, alcohol and fridge. the almond milk <laughs> to make room for the cake. Oh, it's amazing. Oh, I love it. I can't wait to have some of that. We are back. We're back from the night and we've had such a good time, haven't we? We have. We've had so much fun. What are we going to do now? Alex is going to make some beans, buys. Sorry, a boy. It's my joke that you steal. Sorry. We're probably gonna make boys and then watch another episode of The Stairs. Staircase. <laughs> <laughs> the Staircase. How much have you drank tonight? <laughs> I've had like two gins, I promise. I don't even know what we're up to on that. I've not even had full gins, I've had little bits and I've been chat I've been chatting to everyone all night. I've not seen you all night. I know, I've been chat I've been too busy chatting. I've been hanging out with Charlotte. I've been catching gin and tonics. <laughs> I'm just I'm just happy. I'm happy birthday. Yeah, oh, let's go watch the stairs. <laughs> yeah, we're watching the staircase and we're up to like nearly the last episode. I fell asleep in the last night's episode. Yeah, you were snoring last night. It's a lot of court cases. It's a lot of court it's cases. It's super interesting. Place. Kind of just want to skip eight episodes and just watch the final <laughs> episode and find out what the <laughs> hell happened. Did she fall down the stairs? <laughs> oh, I don't know at this point. Who do you think I, do, I don't think I don't think he killed her personally. I think she You fell. do realise that if we don't watch it by the end of the time this episode goes up, somebody is going to spoil it. We need to watch it. it, we're going to have to watch it by then. Well, so by the time you watch this we'll know. We we'll need know. to watch nine hours of the staircase before this goes out. <laughs> the stairs, watch the stairs. We're going to go to bed. Good night guys. Good morning. <laughs> Look what Alex just brought me. Avocado on toast with crab in bed with happy birthday. <laughs> <laughs> Best breakfast ever. <laughs> it's so funny, babe. This is probably a bit of a hazard, isn't it? Leaving it on the bed. Definitely. Oh my god, this is awesome. You have to oh. blow it out. It's dripping on the avocado. Is it really? Yeah. Can I blow? Camera. Okay. Of course you can blow it. Okay. I'm gonna blow it out. Oh, I don't want it to go all over the bed either. Make okay, a wish. I'll do it softly. Okay, wish. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> Beautiful day in London. Just gone into the centre, and now I'm going to this. Skin Perfection Clinic to talk about some laser. Okay, so I've just finished up at Skin Perfection. Just, it's in such a great location. It's literally just off Oxford Street, right near Drive Eye, where I get my nails done. Because I am interested in having this blemish here. It used to be a spot, and I think I must have pressed it too much. Anyway, it's turned into like a little group of veins, so I really want those zapped. I also have some thread veins on my legs runs in my family so I really want them zapped because they're kind of collecting together so I want those done and I'd also like my underarms lasered my hair so I've been to those ladies and they're so nice yes yeah, so I've had a really really good chat we just chatted I showed my legs and my face and we've booked in now for a, uh, a patch test I need to get a patch test done and then I can have the whole treatment done and also I had my um my, my face completely photographed so she could have a look at any other red bits and pigmentation and sun damage. So I'm going to have like a full laser treatment all over my whole face to break down the pigments and to help with the sun damage that I have. So I had no idea how bad my sun damage was, 
but I don't want to be older and have all of this, these brown spots come out, so I'm, I'm helping myself now. I'll leave links down below, by the way, to Skin Perfection, and I literally just found these guys, wanted to come along and have a chat, but I'm really impressed, and it's such a lovely clinic, so. Anyway, I'm gonna quickly nip to Dior, because I've not been in in a while, and I'd like to see what they have. Morning, guys. Okay, so sorry, I forgot to film. I got I came back. No, actually, no, no, I don't lie. I went to Dior, that's where I went. Anyway, today's a new day. Today is Friday. I've got a lovely weekend planned, actually. I've got a big uh, family weekend planned. So I'm quite looking forward to that, actually. I'm just putting on some SPF. Start off the day. Face is a bit red, I've just put my exfoliant on. I've not been using it for the past week or so. Week, weeks, two weeks, because I've been away in Bermuda. I wanted to exfoliate a little less whilst I was away. So using it again now, my skin's like, ooh, exfoliate. It's a little bit red. So just thought I'd come along and say hey, and show you a little bit of a, a getting ready with me, because I used to love doing this in the vlogs, and I don't feel like I've done it in a while. I really wanted to do it the other day for the Armani party, but because I'd been out and got my hair done and hair cut, I didn't have any time really. Um, I had literally about half an hour to get ready and I just didn't have the time to set up a camera. To be talking to camera, I just needed to like whiz through it. So I can kind of show you in effect what I did for the party because it's practically where that look most days to be honest. Yeah, in fact, where is my perfume? Yeah, so this is a perfume. I don't know if I even mentioned it in the um, the speed in which that night happened, but yeah. You might remember um, last year we promoted this again and it's its one year anniversary. So I was so excited to be part of the campaign again for Emporio Armani. And it was such a brilliant party. As I said, okay, you've already heard about that because it was still fun. Okay, anyway, right. I do love this. Bare Minerals. This is actual complexion rescue. I might mix it in with my beauty blur. Use a bit of beauty blur and then a bit of this because this is a tinted like a tinted moisturiser. Pack a bit of that in. Mixy, mixy, mixy. Do you know, I've gone so back to basics with my makeup these days. I no longer wear eyeliner. I wore eyeliner from about the age of 11 or 12 in high school up until about 18 months ago. And it was only when I got so sick of my eyes watering from eyeliner that I was like, do you know what? Sod this. Stopped wearing eyeliner. I now barely ever wear foundation. I just wear this beauty blur or tinted moisturisers. I've done like this full 360. Although there are some foundations that I still love and still have pride of place. I've just not really worn one for a little while. Great, just a nice illuminated base is just what I wanted. My usual NARS soft matte concealer. I just use this to combat any redness. I have so much redness around my nose and I've been, like for example, at the Skin Perfection Clinic yesterday I went to, I had more pictures taken, like underneath the skin, using like lights and photography and whatnot. And um, yeah, the UV damage on my face is awful. And I think it's just from being younger and wanting a tan and not being able to tan because of my skin type. And I've put oils on my face in the past. I mean, SPF oils, but still. One time I had a really bad allergic reaction to one as well. It was not good. A lot of makeup has SPF in it, and it's not real SPF. I'd just be careful. I see that as a bonus rather than, oh, this is SPF, my SPF for the day. Yeah, I used to go to like the Maldives and just wear like foundation with SPF in it, thinking, oh, this is perfect. This is my SPF for my face. Whereas that is complete rubbish. <laughs> that is not how it works. Please don't be fooled like I was. Wear an actual SPF underneath first. There are so many now in the market. Like really lovely, luxurious SPFs or even just on the high street for the face. Use one of them first and then top up with your SPF foundation or whatever like see it as a bonus don't see it as your SPF because I mean I'm nearly 30 and the damage on my skin is for it looks like someone far older so I'm making I'm making changes guys I'm making changes okay for my face I'm gonna go in with a bigger brush I need to give this a wash my Armani brush my Tom Ford creamy shade and illuminate palette just to give more of a bronze cheek rather than sculpting it out so the reason I wanted to do a little quick makeup tutorial is because not quite arrived for me today. No. This just arrived in the post this morning. My best mate Rebecca ordered this for me all the way from America. Although I think it's from the UK team, but she lives in America. She ordered it for me as a, as a surprise birthday present because the other day she like Insta share DM'd me the Norvina palette and was like oh my god look at this and I was like I know it looks amazing doesn't it yeah so she bought it me as a surprise so it arrived this morning and I'm so excited about it so I'm just gonna really quickly just do my face and then I wanted to just show you me applying a couple of the colors
colours, just so you can see what you think. Okay, let's get into this eyeshadow. I'm just going to put on a little bit of eyeshadow primer, just to get my base a little bit more nude. Dip and Decay eyeshadow primer potion. I just wanted something a little bit more nuded out on there, just to cover any veins or anything. That's a little better. Okay, right. Okay, this is the palette. Ooh. Oop. How gorgeous is that? They are my shades to a T. Like the orangey browns, this deep burgundy red, the pigment of these looks insane. I am so excited. Probably better hurry up. That's what time are we on? I've got half an hour, I think, to get ready. Okay, I'm going to go in with incense, of course. It's blending really nicely. It's a lovely deep brown a little bit of kickback it's a lovely warm color of brown though that's the kind of it's the kind of eyeshadow shade that i wear most days yeah i like that Do you know what i'm gonna put that i'm just gonna put it all over my lid because i really just like that look just full brown Especially when it's warm i feel it like really suits me i'm just gonna take another brush and i'm gonna move this time into eccentric which is this like orangey brown. Just using a clean brush just to kind of like diffuse all that out and just kind of blend it into. I'm not going for anything like super perfect here, like it's just a day. I'm going to some meetings, like I'm not after a Hollywood red carpet look. I like that mix though, of the orange and the brown, it's cute. And then I'm just going to go for, I'm going to use this called base, as the base for the inner corner, and then go over with a touch of this dreamer as well, isn't it? Champagne-y shimmer base, I mean it's light, creamy shade, nice though actually, Love the ivory shade. And then over the top, let's go for some, ooh, my brush needs to be wet maybe. I'll just pack on a bit more. That's pretty. It's kind of like a really subtle shimmer. We're ready to go. Alex is coming with me. We're just going to have a little little joint meeting, aren't we? Get my camera fixed. Ooh. Oh, you look gorgeous. Oh, you got your boots back on. I'm trying it again. Going for round two. So Alex bought these gorgeous boots. Where are they from again? Red, Red Wing. Wing yeah. And he wore them for a few, for a week or so. And then because obviously they're brand I new. I for two weeks and it was fine. It was when I went shopping for something for you. My feet got absolutely destroyed. My feet have never been so, never bad they were. They were so Yeah, blisters. they were pretty shredded so up. So blistered, yeah. Whoa. But being a boy and not realizing what to do when you have blisters on your feet, Alex kept wearing them with blisters. I put comp, no, I put compedes on. Thinking, oh, th this gonna be fine. And then I would left the house and then I made it like 10 times worse. No, it's so and it bad. Took, I think it took four weeks for my feet to heal. Yeah, they still got scars on my feet. From well, they look fabulous. My toe tattoos have rubbed off because of it. Have they really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So this is what I'm wearing today though. Little nude blouse, this gorgeous v-neck, pretty detailing around the collar, into my favourite kind of trousers. And I'll probably wear my Chanel mules, I think, with this vibe. And this is how my makeup came out. I really, really like this warm brown on the eyes. Lips are, this is MAC, MAC Ginger Rose all over. And then my favourite, Tom Ford Alexander to the centre, to give it that kind of bit of an ombre, a bit of a lighter sheen. What else did I use? I'm really enjoying these at the moment, the brand new Cover Effects. This is a high performance setting spray. But they also have the Dewy Finish setting spray. I think that's it. My mascara, I use the Clarins Waterproof with the Dior Pump and Volume over the top. Just add a little bit more volume. And yeah, and that's just finished off again with another few spritzes of the Emporio Armani because it's you. That's everything. That's everything. Right, so let's go out to... Oh, let's go out to our meeting. Also, I'll quickly show you this too because I'm so excited. I spent hours yesterday tidying up my bag collections and my shoes and my clothes and I had a big 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 clear out it took me hours but everything now just looks so much better I'm so happy everything is in order right what should I probably go for I wear these most days but come on these Chanel mules are just so good 
Okay guys, so I am home from my day of meetings. I've had a really, really good day. This morning we went for a meeting with Todd's, which was good fun. And they were so kind and gifted us both a pair of their iconic, iconic little loafers. These are the Todd's Gamino shoes and they're super classic, really comfortable and I've gone for them in the blush. Just so you know, I went a half size down. I'm usually a 37 or a UK 4 and these are a three and a half. They're so comfortable, I am obsessed with these. These are like my new favourite flat shoes. Alex got them in a navy blue, men's style. In fact, it's the exact same style as mine, but in a navy blue for men. So that's what we did this morning, which was awesome. It's nice to meet the Todd's team. And then I went then for a meeting, another meeting, and then another meeting. So, and now I'm home. Anyway, I thought I'd show you. Alex got me a little present. <laughs> Um, this is also with some money from my dad and my brother, so it's kind of like a big joint present that they all got me together. And I have wanted this for so long, like a few seasons. And I mean, you guys know how often I wear t-shirts. And I really, really, really wanted a Dior t-shirt. So finally got my hands on the iconic Jadior Dior t-shirt. As you know, I'm a massive fan of Dior, so I wanted a white t-shirt from Dior, and I love it so much. Thank you so much to Alex, thank you to my dad, and thank you to my brother for all chipping in. 